Uh, good morning folks, welcome back to the farm. I'm just on my way out of the shop here. We'll hop in the tractor. Beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous day. It was really windy last night, it's warmed up a lot. Anyways, hop it in the tractor. I'm gonna go get some bale feeders and move them around. If you've watched before, you know, I said I did this a couple of weeks ago, but I actually didn't get to it. And, that, and therein lies the challenge. Sometimes it's just not enough hours in a day to get done everything we say we're gonna do. So the weather has deteriorated from what was quite pleasant to considerably less than pleasant. It's a good day to head into the shop, cut some flooring, and maybe finish a project in the basement. All right, so while I'm in the shop here, probably staring down a little bit of the honeydew list, ah, that would be a good time. Come to the tractor, give you an update what's happened here in Canada. Well, the last video I made, I did say things were a bit of a mess. Well, hmm, I had fingers crossed. Hopefully we're gonna, you know, resolve this. You know, unfortunately, that hasn't happened, right? So we know a few days back, the Prime Minister invoked the Emergencies Act. Since then, uh, the OPP, the RCMP, and some other gentlemen that are in full body armor and green suits, I'm not sure exactly who they're affiliated with, but they've moved in uh, heavily armed with armored vehicles, riot squads, uh, they are rounding up and arresting the leadership of, you know, the, the folks that organized the protest, essentially. Uh, they've basically frozen and seized the funds of any individuals involved in this particular protest, which is pretty concerning. And that's trickled down to anybody that has, you know, through, throughout the last three weeks has shown any kind of support for them. So that's also concerning. Now, naturally, as a Canadian citizen, we expect that our local representation by way of our MP is going to take that to the floor of the House of Commons and say, what, what are you doing? Like, this is Canada. This is not some, you know, Middle Eastern country or communist China or you know, this is not where this is not how things are done here. So that process started uh, and the PM faced quite a bit of backlash. Uh, and, and so what he what he basically did is just today. I mean, he just or I think was it was it today or was it yesterday? Anyways, basically he's just suspended part of it. You're done. No more debate. No more question period. All the only reality we know right now in our nation's capital is martial law. Heavily armed police presence, riot squads, armored vehicles, pushing, shoving, forcing the protesters. Who, by the way, are Although inconvenient, they are, it is a peaceful protest. They are exercising their rights and freedoms within the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, uh, their, their legal right to do so. And, uh, and the PM has basically construed them as, as domestic terrorists. Well, so, I mean, is that, is that really factual? Is that, I mean, are, is this really an emergency? I mean, I have to question, you know, late 2019, early 2020, when the coronavirus pandemic first came, you know, wave on wave into North America. Was that an emergency? Didn't, did, we just certainly didn't, we certainly didn't push that button then. You know, um, when pretty much the entire interior of British Columbia was on fire. Was that an emergency? Didn't hit the button there either. When uh, 215 First Nations, the bodies of 215 First Nations children were found in, in British Columbia and then subsequently throughout, throughout Canada, that number has now escalated to, I think, around 7,500 7, children. That certainly didn't uh, have us hit the red button. Uh, severe flooding that cut off, you know, the entire distribution supply network of Western Alberta and, and British Columbia, 
that that didn't that didn't trigger the button you know so i mean where's the threshold where's the threshold and it seems to be that the entirety of canada can be can suffer great great tribulation and uh and and here we have you know just a handful of blocks in in a capital city that you know we've got some maybe at worst people parked in places they shouldn't and making an awful lot of noise that's that's where we hit the button it seems it's yeah, well it just it just seems a bit too much right so anyways that's that's really what's concerning me today you know where there's a thousand things that have occurred over the last handful of years where we probably could have justified some heightened level of you know emergency tactic and, and in and in this particular case probably probably didn't need it and 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 the way that the tactics that are being used you know subsequent to the powers that are granted as a result of the emergencies act is is very very strong-handed right very un-canadian you know i mean just just go down just just go down and just listen to the people it's all you have to do. you don't have to do what they're demanding but just go down and actually listen to them don't say on tv we've heard you we've listened go home right it's very dismissive at the beginning of this whole thing you know there was this fringe my fringe minority which i mean you might as well have thrown gasoline on the fire at that point in time and you the minute you take somebody with a legitimate concern and you marginalize them and you dehumanize them what what is that person going to do right yeah oh yeah sure they're just going to pack up and go home right <laughs> no no you're inviting chaos and so this is where this is where we're at now we're we're in we're in absolute national turmoil anyways so after the last video i put out i did have quite a few people reach out to me some of which you know what was was pretty far to the right and some was pretty far to the left and i i generally sit somewhere in the middle right so i mean throughout this whole thing i've been and it's no secret right it's just it's the whole thing i've been pro-vax right yeah got vaccinated you know what and that's if you want to do that that's entirely up to you um i believe you know position the government should be to encourage that and make that ability open to people uh but i am very very vehemently anti-mandate right when the government comes down and says thou shalt and and i mean look at where we're at right mm, that doesn't sit well now when it says thou shalt and it puts armed armed police officers in the street mm, that sits even less well and so this is where we're at right now i mean when when a lot of the anti-vax anti-mask crowd hit ottawa couldn't i couldn't have cared less i was pretty pretty indifferent about the whole thing but the fact of the matter is when you've got armed police officers rounding up canadian citizens in our nation's capital for exercising what is their rights to protest whether i agree with them or not or whether you agree with them or not they're exercising their rights to be heard and and they're met with you know near military force sure not the, sh the shot hasn't been fired yet but the intent and the and the and the ability is certainly there right so we are on very very thin ice and it's it's, it's a concerning place to be you know, when we look at a lot of other countries, we think, oh, yeah, you know what? I mean, these these crazy dictators, sure, I mean, anything could happen. But here we are, and what we, you know, what we think is a civilized democracy and one of the most peaceful nations on the planet. In fact, uh, that is the primary role of our military is to keep the peace across the world. And yet, and yet here we are, guns drawn against our own citizens. So stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can go back to talking about my chickens here in a couple of days and this will, uh, this will resolve itself and uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like, but hopefully it's done without any triggers being pulled or any blood being shed. But for now, I'm going to let you go. I better go cut my flooring and finish my project in the basement. I hope you have a fantastic and safe day and we'll see you tomorrow.